The verse on the Jester for Jesus website for today is from Psalm 42 and verse 2, just the beginning of that verse, and it says this, My soul thirsts for God, for the living God. What does it mean? When we think of thirst, we think of drinking something. In John chapter 4, Jesus was at the well with the woman of Samaria. And he said, you know, let down your arm thirsty, give me something to drink. And he said, if you knew who was asking, I would give you living water and you would never thirst again kind of thing. And she was thinking, oh, that means like, you know, everlasting water. Or I wanted to keep going out to the, the stream to fill the water or go down to the well and fill the water, etc. But also later on in John's Gospel, in John chapter 7 and verse 37, he says, Let anyone who is thirsty come to me and drink. What, was Jesus going to like go around with a great big bath of water? Hey, it's a bit of water for you, a bit of water for you. No. He's thirsty for him. So my soul thirsts for God. As our bodies crave water to keep us alive, they reckon we can go without food for 40 days, but we can't go without water for four because things happen and our body will start to shut down. And the living God, the reference in John chapter 4 was about living water. People believed back in those days it was water that was running, not stagnant. So my soul thirsts for God, for the living God. That's something that's going to refresh us. Something that we need on a day-by-day -day basis. It gives you something to think about, to drink of God's word and be quenched within your soul. For God gives us that living, breathing water that we need in his word.